Hello and welcome back. Today our topic is events not displaying on calendars in our Event Calendar Maker Excel template. So this template is useful for creating customized and personalized event calendars based on the data you may have about your events. And sometimes when you enter the events data and then you see that the events are not being displayed on the calendar designs, then there are specific reasons why and in this video I will cover those reasons and also how to avoid those. So there we have our template and before we get started with this I, I also want to highlight that if you go to the events sheet and at the top you have a section for help where you can choose yes to do you need help and then this will display uh, some information about why the events may not be displaying on the calendar. So this video is about these five reasons why events may not be displaying. So let me go back to the home sheet and I'm just going to create a, an event type so that we can use it for the demonstration and let's say I want it to be in blue. Now I go to the event sheet. So the first reason why the events may not be displaying is if you don't have a start date or frequency type or the other reason is event end date may be before the start date. So let's just check that. So I'm going to create an event and I am going to let's say this is meetings event type and if I don't put a start date then as I scroll to the right I see that the validation field says error so in order to see that better so I'm going to go to view freeze panes so we can now also see the validation field there you go okay so now I don't have a start date I don't have a frequency type there would be an error so you have to watch out for that so even after I type in a start date there will still be an error because I don't have frequency type so make sure that the frequency type is also selected so once you put that in the error goes away and we can go and see that on the calendar our event is displayed so make sure that the event start date and frequency type both are entered those are required the other reason why for example let's say we do this as a weekly uh, frequency type daily frequency type and then if i enter an event end date let's say i put 2016 january 1st that also will return an error because our end date is before the start date that is just not right so these are the reasons why your validation field may give you an error so now let's talk about the second reason why this might be happening is the validation field shows not displayed so for example in this case our event the calendar begins in January 2016 so if I enter a date here the end date is before the calendar start date so let's say I put 2015 and this might be a valid date so 2014 to 2015 the problem here is that our calendar is supposed to only start from January 2016 so the validation field will now say not displayed because this event cannot be displayed on the calendar because this is prior to our calendar begin. So our calendar begins in January 2016 so that event will not be shown on the calendar. Similarly, the other option is also event start date. So if you start your event after our calendar ends, so let's say in 2017, we, we are creating an event for January to February, this is also not going to be displayed on the calendar because our calendar is a 12 month calendar. And so you will see the not displayed uh, message again because this is a 2017 event and our calendar is only 2016 and if you want this to appear if your event data is actually correct you can definitely come back here and change the year and so I forgot to enter also these columns where we have to enter one if it's a daily event type so now when we go back here we will see those events being displayed on the calendar so make sure that the event calendar year is matching with the dates that you have for the event if your event is after the calendar or before the calendar then they will not be displayed so that is the second reason why your events may not be displayed on the calendar the third reason is if you have a lot of events more than 300 active events or 
1200 active instances so the difference between uh, instances and active uh, events are if you have a weekly event that runs for four weeks then you have one event but it runs for um, it has four instances so in this scenario for example we created one event and we said it's a daily event from 5th Jan to 1st Feb this is one event but there are 28 instances of this event so keep in mind that the maximum number for instances that can be handled by the template is 1200 and the number of events is 300 so you can definitely easily check the numbers here on the top row and if you see that this is more than 300 or this is more than 1200 that means that those additional events and instances will not be displayed on the calendar so you um, one option is if you don't want all those events to be always displayed on the calendar you can deactivate certain events so for example here if i don't want this event to be displayed on the calendar i hit no and now you can see that the events and the instances both zeroed out because this is not an active event. So if I want it back, I remove it and now I have one, inst one event and 28 instances on the calendar. So you can definitely leverage the active column for that. The next um, reason why the events may not be displayed on the calendar itself is the event type field. So the event type is where we are actually assigning an event to the type of event which the primary purpose of that is to color the event so when we go back to the home sheet we saw that the meetings are assigned blue color and if the meet instead of meeting let's say this is meeting and while you entered here you entered meetings so it will not be able to pick up the connection there and so now when i go to the calendar the blue color disappeared because the event type does not match with the um, with the setting that we have. So if I choose meeting now and I go back and then now the colors will be back. So make sure that the event type is matching with what you have set in the home sheet and also make sure you don't leave it blank. So if you leave it blank, even then the template still doesn't have the connection to the color so it will not display the color. So even though the color is not displayed, keep that keep in mind that if I go to the yearly with events, uh, sheet I, I will still be able to see all those events and instances the reason being the only the color is impacted the list is still existing so if I go to the monthly with events I will still be able to see all the welcome events but the problem is the color will not be there and the color is done through this mapping of event type and entering a correct event type in this drop down so i am going to choose meeting and now everything will be fine so that is the number four reason number five is your data is not inside the table so in this case we entered data in row 11 that is inside the table so always start entering your event data from row 11 do not start by typing in anywhere here or 12 or 13 or 14 because the it, the data will not be inside the events table which means that the template will not understand and use that information to build the calendar so for example if i am creating another event name here it doesn't matter it will not be displayed because this is not part of the table you will you will see two things so one is you will see that the drop downs work inside the table but here the drop downs don't work and that's because similarly the drop down for the frequency type work here but not here because this row is not inside the excel table so that is the first thing your drop downs will not function if you enter anywhere randomly the second thing you will notice is that the best check for you to know whether your data is within the table or not click on the cell and you will see the ribbons at the top you will see that there is no new ribbon called table tools but if i'm clicking on row 11 you will see that the table tools ribbon appeared this tells me that this cell is within the table this cell is not so your event data if for a specific row it doesn't display on the calendar check whether it is within the table by just clicking on the cell event name and then seeing whether the table tools ribbon appears. So that is the easiest checkpoint. So that's the fifth reason to why the event may not be displayed on the calendar. If you have any further questions at all, please let me know in the comments. I'll be very happy to respond. 
Thank you very much for watching the video.